Hey guys, welcome to another Divi tutorial from Almost Inevitable Design. And today we're gonna do something that's, uh, that's pretty useful. It doesn't look as cool in the beginning, but you'll see why it's really useful. All right, so um, I am here. This, don't don't mind this uh, uh, back end because uh, this, I'm, I'm making a child theme and it's, yeah. Anyways, uh, so, one thing that I realized now, this one is about this. This um, uh, this tutorial is about uh, another header modification, and let's let's fire up the customizer, and I'll show you what I mean. So, if we go into there, we go. If we go into the header style, we're gonna use. There we go. We're going to use the full screen. There we go. Uh, full screen uh, menu header. Full screen menu. Yep. Now, if you click this, you'll, you'll see that we get the full screen, right? Um, we could make it full width, but let's just not for now. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning full width is because you'll see. Now, this is. Um, this is the logged in version and this is the uh, not logged in version, logged out version. And I'll just refresh just to show you. There we go. What? Oh, I, I didn't publish this. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Now, I'll refresh this and we will get the hamburger, right? Now, if we click this, the problem that I feel is the close button, the X, is over here. Now that's the reason why I mentioned uh, full width. If you are using this in full width, it's the logo's over here and the hamburger's over here, so it's a little closer. Um, it's not it's not as bad. But then uh, the logo and the hamburger are outside the container, so it's 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 weird sometimes depending on how you're doing it. But anyways, so this, I don't like this problem. This, yeah, so this is what, so this tutorial is about fixing this problem, okay? Now, um, a main problem is this is an, uh, an absolute value. So the height, well, the, the distance from the, the top of the screen to, and the distance from the right side of the screen are absolute values. And we can't just move it over here because then if we move the size of the, well, change the size of the screen, resize the screen, then it's always gonna be this far away from the top and this far away from the right side, which is different, right? And it, it, it's never gonna be like that. So what I want is, if I click that, I want the X right here, okay? And it has to always work. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, okay? Um, let's start with a child theme. Now, if you need a child theme, you can go to almostinevitable.com because that's where I put everything from uh, that I that I do uh, in tutorials. So that's where you get the free Divi child theme. You can use this. Uh, this has been updated to 3.3.1, so it keeps on updating. And of course, I have an online course where you can make Divi more responsive and you learn a lot. And it also has a responsive child theme. So there we go, just download that and you will have, see there we go. So anyways, you will have uh, the header from the new Divi version and I keep updating so anytime you come to my website, everything is updated. So that looks like this. This is the new header, all right? Now, the way that this is structured is if you click that, you get, oh, I should actually, Keep this inside here. There we go. So if you click that, this thing, this whole thing is in one div, and that is in here, um, right here. Slide in menu container, and then we have if full screen. If you click the full screen from the customizer, then this starts happening. Now, the way that the that the DOMs are structured, the way that the divs are structured is this guy and the slightly um, dark background here on the top part and the, the cart, they're all moving separately. So what we're gonna do is we, all we need to do is just move this guy over, okay? 
Now, the way that you do this is on this line, it's which, uh, which this is line 128, just add a new um, div, right? And we're gonna give it a class of container, which is surprising because we already have container. It's already set by Divi, so that's cool, right? So that's all you're doing right now, okay? So this is the hamburger, this span, mobile menu bar, ET toggle full screen menu, this is the hamburger. That's the hamburger. And we're gonna uh, wrap it or nest it inside uh, the, the, the container, container div. So we're gonna add another div, okay? Now, if we do this, I'm gonna save this. Uh, and I can do this because right now this file is locally inside uh, and, and, and it just uh, that's what I opened. So let's uh, refresh this and we can see that nothing happened, right? But now, look at that. It's inside the container. Yeah, but it's not spaced properly. So what we're gonna do is add this CSS. Now what this CSS does is, I'll open, I'll open the inspector so you can see. Now if you look here, there we go. So this guy, has a padding of 125 and it also has a padding of not padding uh, a height sorry yeah height it has a height of there's a height somewhere anyway so it has that height and if we if we take this away then this guy is going to go all the way up all right and also another thing that this css does is it takes away the right part now what i mean is um Go to the X, right? I'm gonna use, use it like a ruler. If you see that hamburger, right? That hamburger, the X is actually out by that much, 30 pixels. So if we make that a zero, if we make that a zero, then you can see that the X is properly aligned, right? So that's what this all, that's what all this um, CSS is doing. So that we're gonna copy that. And we're gonna to go to theme options, paste that in there, save changes. And let's, oops, 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 there we go. And we refresh. There you have it, right there. That's how you go into the menu and come out. So, I think this is way better and it's actually bugged me for a long time. And now uh, I fixed it. Well, I think I fixed it. I, th I think that looks way better. And if you think so too, then it's, it's real easy. Just add one div and just add two lines of CSS and you're done. So uh, have more fun with this. It's actually a really nice menu, um, but I think usability wise, it has some parts that we could fix, and I think this is a good fix. So have fun with that, um, and I'll come back with another header, another tutorial, more lessons, and child themes. So maybe I'll see you in another video. All right, thank you very much, bye-bye.